as you know, there's no such thing as a quiet day here and I probably wouldn't have it any other way. But today, what day is it? Tuesday has been particularly full on. There's been so much going on, not just with Sam here for dentistry work, Chris here to do some shoeing and removing of shoes on Annie. The scaffolding was coming down. Michael was here rebuilding Hoytzer and Jubber's house. It's been a really, really lovely day. We had Jodie in, so she did lots of shuffling around of horses, cleaning them up, making sure that they were all, all you know, well and, and happy. Frey's been in because Frey's in the office on a Tuesday and she was working very much alongside Diane, who also very kindly came in and spent a day in the office. And you'll hear a little bit more in the rest of this video of what she was doing. My day's not quite over because next job is actually to take my ancient old horse box along to Aidan, who I think you met in a video a while ago. Aidan has been building the gate to go on um, Jamie's wall. So it's called Nancy's Gate. So he's been building that and he's also built the stable door that's going to go on Bessie's barn. But because he's a fabulous welder, he's going to look at repairing our ramp on our lorry. So I'm about to head off to drop that off with him for a week. Well, it's a little hive of activity here already. Michael's in doing hoots and jubbers. The guys are here taking the scaffolding down. Sam's on his way to do dentistry. I've just got a bale of haylage in and Chris has arrived. That looks like the first breeze box. But we've got the GoPro on Michael, so we can see the speeded up version of what he's doing. already by asking them to move their lorry for me to get the tractor up. Then Chris arrived. Now Sam's stuck down the driveway. But they're going to make quick work of getting all of this off. And look how shiny the house looks. So Annie's going barefoot. We're going to give it a go, even if it's just for a week. Sam's just done Hoyt's teeth and Hoyt's, Hoyt's are actually lost a tooth which you'll see in another video. He's also done yodels. He's busy doing principal at the moment and I've just come down to get Doubts and an inner in to have theirs done. All the girlies happily munching. Jao's got new shoes on. Chris has actually put wedges on her this time, which he does every second or third set. They're a bit grubby there, but they're wedges like Hoitzer has, just to lift her heels a little bit, to give her a bit of relief. She's the last of the, the big guys to have her teeth done. Jodie in the background, she's about to go and feed. It's just Nika and Mabel, Nero and Uber down in the field. And then we've got some sleepy ones here. Well, Iceman's just had his omeprazole. Inner there is just waking up from sedation. Dale's waking up from sedation. Hannes is in the queue to have his sarcoid done. There's Sam. My blue gloves. <laughs> Little Prince, I think he's woken up now from his sedation, so he'll go back out in the field. There's Yodel having a bath with Jodie. 
who's been busy cleaning up several of them today. Who else Who else did you give a bath to? Um, Shao. Oh, Shao and Annie. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, um, I always think it's a job you can do in between moving horses, especially when we've got some here. It's yeah. a case of you can move some and poop it and bath them. So it's something that you feel like you've actually achieved because if you try and work horses, when we're, we've got all this going on, it just doesn't happen. No, it doesn't. Yeah, you can't focus on it no. completely. So there's been lots of shuffling horses around today, hasn't there? So it's just, I always just think make the most of it and think, right, this can be a bathing, descabbing. <laughs> yeah, like de-scabbing we do a lot of de-scabbing yeah, yeah. Seen, now they're they're changing their coats as well and it's just gone dirty and wet and it is just a case of getting on top of it isn't it before they get before they get too bad yeah so yodel had her teeth done she just had some sharp edges she didn't even need sedation she was a very good girl as was her sister Zhao over here and again, she just had some sharp edges. But she's still got, you still got stuff all round your face, haven't you, darling? But yeah, she was very good. Hannes here, who was due to have the sarcoid removed from underneath his elbow here. Sam had a good look at this, and you can see it's a, it's a little bit pink because he had a good feel round. And he actually said it feels like it's going to pop out and it's changed quite a bit since he last saw it. So what he suggested is that rather than putting him through some more laser treatment, which will, which will be quite uncomfortable, to actually leave it, keep it covered up so that the, the flies aren't going on it and reinfecting him anywhere else with sarcoid cells um, and just see how it is over the next few weeks because it may be and this sounds really disgusting that we can even just pop it out ourselves which as he said will be far nicer than than laser treatment they are all fidgeting a bit because there are quite a few flies out um who else have we got so doubtsome we've got up here she's had her teeth done she had again some sharp edges she had a little gap between some of her teeth she had to have some sedation because she was doing her usual giraffe impression weren't you and throwing your head right up in the air so she slept off her sedation now and she's just chilling on the yard there's Iceman over there who's had his omeprazole and we've got the new supplement that he's going to have just to help try and keep these ulcers at bay and then he'll have another scope in a month's time. Then round over here in the round pen, we've got Wren. She was up here last night because she looked a bit sleepy yesterday and she still looks a little bit sleepy. So we're gonna keep her up here again tonight. And that way she can go in into the stable and have a sleep if she wants to. Look at all these horrible flies. And then we've got Micah there. You haven't had to have anything done today because you had your teeth done last time. But they're in the round pen just because otherwise they would have been crowding the barn while we were getting horses in and out for Sam to do. And if we go into the office here, we've got two people in the office today. Look, we've got our quilting queen. So Diane has spent the whole day pretty much in the office yeah. with Frey over there in the corner. Um, do you want to share with everyone what you've been working on today? OK, so one of the things I've been working on is next year's calendar and making choices about layout and design and going for something a bit bigger next year so you can see the pictures better, but you can also see the dates and everything better. And now I've got to whittle down about a thousand photographs to 13. Is it only a thousand? Yes. <laughs> well, we did. Um, um, yeah, it is now only a thousand. It was about, what, four or four or five thousand, yeah. was it, Frey? Yeah. <laughs> so um, we've taken that down. So I'm going to take that away and have a go at it and then um, give you the preview. Tracy, that is, not the rest of um, the content. Yeah, no, you don't all get the preview, no, sorry, because, no, you, you know, once... get the preview. Yeah. Um, but it's something to look forward to, it isn't is it? It is something to look forward to, and there are so many 
beautiful pictures to choose from it's going to be really tough and I think on some pages there will have to be more than one picture because there are just so many beautiful ones um, and then the other thing I've been working on is the um, new program that will be launched soon I understand um, but working on with a number of people behind the scenes um, particularly I say yeah I think you can um, say Jamie that. Richardson yeah. um, in particular and I'm working on a form um, one for someone to become a sponsor and also potentially uh, the same form or a slightly separate form to nominate people that could be sponsored to have a session in the friendship barn perhaps people that are needing that support that emotional healing that connection that sense of well-being so it's the form is actually turning out to be quite simple but it's been quite hard to put together because it's trying to work out how it would look on the web as well so yeah and it, it's been such a huge help you stepping in with this because you know you say the form's simple to you and your mind it will be because it's something that you know about whereas I've been stressing about it for over a year it's a campaign we wanted to launch at the beginning of this year but you very kindly stepped in and offered to help with this so there'll be more coming about this very very soon there will there will and um, some beautiful words written by various people that have experienced the friendship barn that will be used to be part of the campaign and explain the campaign and you know I've just printed off some various things that have been said and it's quite overwhelming actually when you read it oh it is it's yeah. really moving I mean the amount of thank yous that we've had mm. over the years that have brought me to tears you know let alone people arriving here and being in tears but yes so yes. more on that soon and then Frey over the back here. Go on, Frey, what have you been up to today? Look at that beautiful bouquet in the background. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I have the bouquet for now. <laughs> yeah. There's going to be a few people who are going to be jealous of that bouquet. Well, someone can win it. So uh, pe some people know that I've been making roses in the horse's colours um, as well as the quilts. And... Um, one of the things um, that we're going to do is I've made a bouquet of all the current horses. So there's 17 there because it includes one for Inno and it includes one for Prince, as well as the Jubbers and the other 15 horses. And it doesn't include that carrot over there, no, does it? Doesn't it? Include the <laughs> carrot. The carrot is separate <laughs> and is part of Frey's collection. Yeah. <laughs> um, but so there'll be 17 roses um, in each of the horses' colour and that's going to be going up for raffle. It is. Very soon, isn't it, Frey? Yes. <laughs> Go on, remind me the date that that's going up for Second raffle. Second of October when we draw Mr JB's quilt. We've also got Annie, who's back in the hay hole, who I asked Sam to have a little bit of a look at her just to see whether he could see anything obvious that we may might have missed about why she was feeling under the weather and why she might have fallen over last week. So he checked her over, he said her heart rate seems, seems good, everything seems okay, but what he has done is he's taken a series of bloods that he's just going to run some tests on. We should have those results tomorrow. And then Hida, who's now awake, he had to be sedated. He had his follow-up dentistry. And I'm pleased to say that the ulcer that he had on this cheek a month ago has healed up really well. The diastomas, which are the gaps between his teeth that he had, they weren't as inflamed. There wasn't as much food stuck in there. So he's all good with his teeth for now. Little Inna had her teeth done. There were just some sharp edges again. She had a bit of sedation too, so she's just been stood in there without any haylage for a while, but she looks nice and bright and alert now. So I think he's ready to go back down to the field. Nearly forgot the little guy. Little Jubbers even had his teeth done today. But he was really good. He did have to have a little bit of sedation just because Sam had to use the drill rasp uh, just to take off some sharp edges. So he's still feeling a little bit dopey because he's just coming coming around from that sedation but he'll go back up in the field with his big buddy Hoitzer. Hoitzer and Jubbers are reunited 
They've both woken up from their sedation. Hoitzer was the first to have his teeth done this morning and had to have a little bit of sedation because he actually had one of his back teeth was quite wobbly and Sam was able to pull it out. So we've got a Hoitzer tooth sitting in a bowl of water in the barn at the moment. Not quite sure what we're going to do with it, but I think it's definitely something that we have to hang on to. Little Principal had his teeth done. He had a few raised ridges that needed to be levelled out and he's going to need them doing again in another six months. Let's go see how Michael's doing. Looking good. Gosh, that's a thick wall. Sorry? That's a thick wall. Yeah, but why is it a thick wall? I have no idea why it's a thick wall. I don't know about these things, so please do explain. <laughs> well, below ground it has to be solid because otherwise ground can compact it. But from here onwards, that'll be just a cavity here, look. Yeah. Okay. So a block there and a block there with the cavity. And that is for the stone to go on top of that outside. Oh, I see. Otherwise, what's the point stoning underground? It's just a waste. Absolutely. So that'll be from there onwards, that'll be stone that high. And oh, so be, that will be ground level. Well, if you look at that there, it's above the top of this one already still. So this ground will have to just come up a bit. Okay. And then if you look at this in here, look, the concrete. Well, that's solid stone. Yeah. So the concrete's got to be up here somewhere. Okay. Which is similar to that line there. If you go along that line there, look, you can see how high it's got to be at the front, inside. But then I guess by the time we've got the concrete pad out here anyway, yeah, it's going to be raised. Has to come up. That'll be six inches, that pad. But it's got to be levelled up first, because, I mean, look at that wall, how high stone is there. Where am so I it's looking? it's got to come across here, where the shovel is. Oh, I see what you mean. You know, so it's, I mean, it doesn't have to go right up there, but it needs to come up quite a bit. You're probably going to have, like, a drop-off there, out there. What do you mean, a drop-off? Well, you know, when this comes out here, it's, there's going to be a step out there somewhere. Or you'll have to bring some soil up against it and just gradiate yeah. it. I like the idea of a gradiation yeah. rather than a step. Well, there's got that mass of people saw up there which we can bring against it. Yeah. I mean, that already, even though it's not level, it's flowing. You could, if that was grass, you could mow it. You know, it's a lot better. Oh, it is. And it's only, it's not finished even yet, but it's a lot better already. Yeah. We've had Sam here much of the morning doing dentistry and looking at Hannes's sarcoid. And there will be a longer video coming to show all the work that was done on each of them. But for now, I thought you'd all like to have a little sneaky peek at what he found in Hoyt's mouth. Probably wouldn't have been that painful to get when it was sort of getting to that stage, the infection getting in, then yeah, it would have been sort of, um, oh. you know, periodontal disease is very uncomfortable, very painful. But do all the other teeth look all right? He's got a couple of gaps which I've cleared the food out of, so hopefully he can prevent it getting to that stage. And also he's got some unevenness in the tooth, and when you even the teeth up, the, the gaps will hopefully close because the, the, it's called dental drift and the teeth just move together if the teeth aren't being pushed, pushed apart due to unevenness and ridges on the opposing teeth. I've just been lucky enough to come into Aidan's workshop. Aidan's there, and this is tiny. <laughs> and Aidan's just showing me the, the door for Bessie's barn. I wake These up are the in the morning with a smile on my Daniel. face. Door Feeling casing. thankful for the so love and the happiness we chase. Sun is shining brightly, the sky is so blue and clear. And then the door with every on breath the right. I take, I'm grateful you are not me. So grateful, yeah. Thank yeah. you for the laughter. So thank you for the tea. Exactly the same style as our friendship barn and stable stays.